Welcome back everybody, it's me, GSD Boxer, and I'm back again <laughs> with some more, I love it, <laughs> I keep doing the intro like that, but, hey guys, it's me, GSD Boxer, and I'm back again with some more Free Spirits, last time we took care of the magician, and now something's going on at these two sisters church, I need to figure out what's going on. But first, let me take some inventory, see what we got here. I haven't gotten to a point where I've gotten knocked out, so I don't think I need anything else. We need spooky strudel, and we need some Dampfnudel, and we'll do that right now. Come here, babe. I hope everything is well, Mr. Cosman. If you ever want someone to talk to, I'll be here. I can bake anything you need. Do you have a cr 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 craver? D do you have something you want in mind? I want the Dampfnudel. Oh man, we don't have that much money, but we need this. I'll take three of these. And I'll take three of these, maybe four of these. The guy's gonna give us some sugar anyway. Uh, Morty. Oh look, the Cosman I don't want to talk to. What is your problem? There we go. Now I need to talk to you with Svetlana. Hello, Elana. Been wondering when you'd show up. Mortimer, for once, sets her glass down on the that on the counter. Next to the glass is a book with a pressed daisy and the edge of a photograph peeking out from it. Lana can see the very top of Rex's curls. <sighs> what? Did you miss me? Maybe a little. Lana giggles. Wish I could stay in chat, but, um, well, you know how it is. Busy, busy, busy. Yeah, listen, before you go, Mortimer reaches under the counter and pulls out a small box. She slides it over to Lana. For me? It's not even my birthday. Um, uh, can I open it? If you want. Lana grins and opens up the box. Inside is a pair of black gloves. C call me, Mortimer. Is it really for me? You like your scotch on so many rocks, I figured your hands get cold. <laughs> Very funny. Lana slips the gloves on her hands and admires how they make her fingers look. Golly wowee! Thanks a lot, Mortimer. I'll treasure these forever. Forever's a bit much. Get new ones when these start getting holes, alright? They're just gloves. They're gloves from one of my- What? It skipped it! Why you keep skipping my dialogue? Alright, alright, I get it. You said you're busy tonight, right? Make sure you're back in time for the party. Mortimer finally looks over at Cosman. You can bring Cosman if you want. Lana looks back at Cosman, who is glaring daggers at Mortimer. <laughs> Lana rolls her eyes. I'll be back. You'd better relax with the rest of us. Maybe. If I take a break, you'll all be drinking water. Lana giggles again. Maybe I'll take over being bartender for a bit, huh? Well, see you later. And thanks again for the gloves. Received a pair of gloves. Is it in my inventory? In my items? Gloves! A very practical gift. The sort that Cosman would give. Lana will never breathe a word about the similarities she sees between the two. She will, however, periodically mention what nice gloves her friend got her. I got the crane. I wonder what all this stuff is all about. Oh, Jason! <laughs> That's quite the frown you're wearing, Lana. I hope Lulu's news didn't upset you too much. Best of luck tonight, my dear. We'll be waiting for you when you return. Though none of us can go with you. None know that everyone here will be thinking of you and wishing for your success. Success. And do you have anything for Cosmin? Hmm. You're looking more sour than usual, Cosmin. If I might say. But I sincerely hope tonight works out for you. I overheard dear Lulu telling Lana all about it, and it seemed rather a... a Complex. Go tonight with my well wishes and the comfort you can return to friendly faces, hmm? Kill him. 
Uh, Nadia! A pleasant surprise. Not that your presence in this establishment is much of a surprise these days. Callahan, good to be seeing you. I must thank you for bringing news of a new spirit in need of help, but... Ugh. Cosmin leans in with a menacing look on her face. My sister. She's coming to me looking upset. Yes? And after speaking with you. I trust it was simply the news of poor Father Veselov that had her looking this upset, yes? Lana sighs loudly, but Cosmin doesn't budge. Callahan reaches up and tucks, tugs at his turtleneck, his fingers trembling. He nods. I'm a oh. my, my apologies! I had been intending to deliver the news to you and spare your sister the trouble, but, uh, well, y y you were having a bit of trouble yourself at the time. There was no trouble. What are you talking about? I had Mr. Grady under control. Do not change the topic. Did you upset Sveta Callahan? Ha heavens, if, if I have, surely that was not in my intent, and I can do little else but offer my apologies a hundred, no, a thousand times over. Cosman glares a moment longer, then snorts. <laughs> she leans forward, grabs Callahan's collar, and pulls him into a deep... What? Tugboat <laughs> She did get that sugar! <gasps> Lana audibly gags. There, there, Callahan. All is forgiven. Well... Well, and to think I had perhaps the smallest amount of doubt as to, uh, the status of our amicable relations. I, I, I am happy to see it was a foolish thought, an idle musing. It was a foolish thought, yes? Cosman checks her nails and sniffs. <laughs> I will be seeing you when I return tonight, yes? I do hope so. I would love your company in the night's festivities. Until later, then. Get those muddy boots out of here. I just mopped. Whoa! What about... Sveta? Sorry, Lana. Employees only. Galhan. Ah, oh, Miss Cosmo... Never do that in front of me again. Cosmo rolls her eyes. Sveta, you act as if you've never seen a kiss before. Huh, Miss... Co oh, just gonna say the same thing. Do you say anything else? I wish you luck in your endeavors this night, and wait, await your re safe return. What about the tiger? This poor noble beast, to see it reduced to such a state. Cosmo makes the sign of the cross. She sighs dreamily. Do you have anything? Hey, Lana. Is everything Jake? You know. I'm... You know I'm here for you if you need me, and... Even if it's just to bake some snickerdoodles together. I can bake anything you need, do you? Uh, okay. No. Hello. Lana. You come back safe, alright? And, uh, keep hold of that crane I gave you. For luck, you know. So, you got anything sweet for me? Do I ever? Maybe. I don't know. You want us to, uh, these cookies were... Blah, 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 blah. Have a snickerdoodle, dude. That's all you get. Till next time. What about Cosman? You better have Lana back before the party starts. Don't want her out slogging through some old building all night. So, you got anything sweet for me? Fuck no! Till next time. Goodbye. Yes, I'm ready. You don't need any healing. Lana made her excuses for her friends and dashed off into the night with Cosman. Or to her friends. Oh man, the trip out to Brooklyn was quiet. Even during the train ride out to Manhattan, Cosman and Lana remained silent, staring into their laps and out windows instead of at each other. Walking through their old neighborhood was just a, as peculiar. Cosman set off at a clip and Lana trailed behind. 
speeding up only when she fell a bit too far back. Soon, the two siblings arrived in front of the charred skeleton of their old church. Oh, damn it. This place... Nadia? Hmm? Cosman flicks her eyes towards Lana before fixing them back on the church. What? Nothing. Let's, um, let's make this quick, okay? Mm, yeah. We get to stroll about. Let's just leave. No! Somebody's drinking. Drinking all kinds of bullshit around my church. Nothing else. Can you go back to the catch me out this way? No, I don't want to go. We got to switch and make sure there's nothing different around here. Nope. Let's go in. We can look at the door, right? No. Cosmo, take the lead. You take Vanguard. Don't see. Oh, there's a. Oh, Cosmo, take that. It's terrible what has happened here, but at least someone might find solace in God's word if there were to shelter here. They were to shelter here. Hmm. What is this? Someone left something else behind. Dane Spooky Strudel! Well, I suppose I could take this in case I get, begin feeling peckish. Nothing else around here? No. No, no, no. Some drinking. If I find who has been loitering and leaving trash in this sacred place, there will be hell to pay. Who would leave garbage all over the place in here? Seems disrespectful. Indeed. You're in the Lord's joint right now. The Lord's joint. What is this? Oh, yeah, okay. So this is the same stuff. Can we go through here? Oh, we can! Oh! Hmm. Father Veselov is nowhere to be found. I wonder if he's in the basement. Hey, good thinking. Good thought. We'll be checking there next. First, though, we should... Eh. We can say hello to Mama. Ah, uh, yes. Mama! Just killed a man. Oh! What beautiful flowers. This grave looks very well tended. I really should visit Mama more often. Cosmo, don't give two fucks about that. Someone has left flowers at this grave. It looks like a weed, but hopefully whomever rests here appreciates it all the same. Maybe it's the uh, old lady. That's probably their mama's grave. Right? What this? This is the mama's grave. Hi, mama. Lana sniffs. D do you have anything to say, Nadia? It's strange. I spend my life speaking to the dead, and yet I cannot do so when faced with Mama's grave. Anyway, what is there to say? Are you serious? What? It's been four years! You really don't have anything you'd want to say? Even if I did, she cannot hear it now. What does it matter? Mama can't hear it, but... I can. Eh? Let's give her the flowers and get moving. Right. Lana clings to the flowers. Cosman glances over and reaches out a hand, then sighs and drops it once she sees the look on her sister's face. They approach the grave. Mama! Lana glass gasps and claps her hand over her mouth. My little... What? Solni Solnishko? 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 What is with this face? Do not tell me I look that awful. Sophia. What are you doing here, Mama? It is impossible. Nadia, you are here too? I'm so glad. Sophia lets out a tittering laugh that quickly dissolves into a deep cough. <coughs> 
Mama, don't push yourself. It, it is all right, but I'm afraid I do not have much time and there's much to discuss. What do you mean? It's hard to accept, my dears, but I will pass soon. I want to know that you will both be safe when the time comes. Of course, if this is what you wish. Oh, thank you, my dears. Gotta talk. She, she seems like she has the bigger problem between the two of them. You talk to your mama. But first, shield yourself! And talk to. It would be rude to interrupt mama before she has had a chance to say what is on her mind. Mamulia, Mamulia, My darling Nadia, you've grown to be such a fine young woman, yet I cannot help but worry for you. What do you mean, Mama? I hardly see you anymore. You're always off with that woman. How can I trust for you to look after my youngest when I'm gone? Please, leave that woman and come home for good. I love her. I already came home. She came home. Let's tell the truth. You need not ask of this of me, Mama. I have come home to be with Sveta. Lana scoffs audibly and shoots a glare over at Cosman. Why is she so mad? Sure, and it only took you four years. I guess I should be grateful. Sveta, I, I don't want to hear it. Ha! Huh, my only remaining children fighting among themselves? How can I leave you like this? Calm yourself. Take a deep breath. Uh, talk to your mama. Mamulia. I never know what to say. I promise to take care of Sveta. Yes. When you're gone, I will take care of Sveta. You need not worry about this. I'm glad to hear it. Well, I'm not. I don't need a, a, a caretaker. I'm not implying this, Sveta. But Solnishko. Solnishko? Solnishko? I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. Would it not be easier to be taken care of? Nadia would keep you safe and happy, my love. Oh. Comfort her. Mama, even when we fight, you know I, um, I care about you. Sometimes this is good to hear. She's no longer sad. Talk! What do you guys say? We can take care of ourselves. I never know what to say. What am I to say? You know me. I'm no good with words. My dearest, I have nothing but faith in you. You are strong, capable... I am ever so proud of you. You know this, yes? Cosmo nods silently. Cosmo, feel good! You're not feeling that good! You just smother- Oh, she's giving us hugs. But good thing we saved. I mean, shielded. We should shield again. I wonder what happens if I shoot her with a gun. You talk. We can take care of ourselves. You do not have to worry about us. I'll manage, and Sveta will manage. But I do not want you to simply manage. Don't you see? I wish for you to be happy. How can you be happy when the neighbors talk? You have not heard it, Nadia, but the things they said about you and that woman, it breaks my heart. No longer nostalgic. Both are mad. Oh, she's healing us too at the same time. Okay, Mamulia. Take a deep breath. It's time for Sveta to get her... ...talk on. I've survived by myself. I don't need Nadia's help. I have other friends. I wish you didn't have to go. Survive by myself. Survivor. It doesn't matter if me and Nadia fight. I can take care of myself. You should not have to take care of yourself, Solnishko. You have a family, and this is what a family does. They take care of one another. Yeah, well, 
Maybe you should tell Nadia that. Oh man, the feels are going crazy up in this. Uh, comfort? No, not comfort. She don't need comfort. You need to take a deep breath. And you talk again. The closure. It doesn't matter if Nadia and I fight. I have other friends. What? It doesn't matter if Nadia and I fight. I have other people I can rely on. I have friends. Friends? Why have I not met with them before? Lana falls into silence. Before she can speak again, Cosman clears her throat. <coughs> Sveta, are you... Are you sure these friends are good for you? I admit, I worry sometimes. What? H How dare you! You don't know anything about my friends. They're good people, all right, and they take care of me, unlike you. So, so I don't want to hear you talking like that about them. If they're such well-meaning people, why do you only see them when you spend your nights out drinking, hmm? I spent my nights drinking before I met them. Thank you very much. Oh, Solnishko, how could I not have noticed? I fear I have failed you as a mother. She's gonna get sad. Drinking and spending nights on the town. I wish I could be furious with you, but what if something were to happen? I could not forgive myself. Do you know how dangerous these things are? And especially when you are already so vulnerable. The neighbors. My love, they talk. Who cares what the neighbors say? For real. Would it not be easier to dress as a boy once again? If you did this, I'm certain there would be no more talk about you. Is Sveta a guy and Nadia a girl? I don't care what other people think of me. So Sveta genetically is a male and Nadia is genetically a female. Okay, I get it now. Now it makes a little more sense, I guess? Um, I don't care what other people think of me. Mama, that doesn't matter at all. I don't care what other people have to say about me. I'm, I'm happy as I am. I know, and I'm happy if you are happy. I'm happy if you are happy. I'm proud you are brave enough to be yourself. But you do not understand what it is like to be a mother. I worry for my children. Gotta shield up before we get into more of this deep feels. Talk. It's... it's too hard to talk right now. Smother. Damn. Double damn. Well, time for you to talk. Cannot think of what to say. Yeah, oh, shit! Uh, should we comfort her? I don't know what else I'm supposed to do here, by the way. Do we have an item for this? Let me see if we have an item that we can use. Uh... Poorly made crane? Oh, flowers! Give her the flowers! There's a time for everything, but it's not now. God dang. What? <sighs> what about red crane? Oh my goodness! Drinking spending nights on the town. I wish I could be- okay. God damn it, I pressed the wrong thing again. We got shield up. Shield up. Um, yes. Talk. Okay, now we get the choice. That's not the issue here. That's not why I'm upset. Isn't it? Well, what are you upset about, my love? 
Hana opens her mouth to respond, but stops short when she catches Cosman's eye. Cosman sighs. If I may, Sveta, I believe I know the source of your troubles. Oh, do you? Well then, why don't you tell me? I... I believe you are still feeling my absence. Gee, however did you guess? Ah, my poor children. We need to talk this out. Hash it out with your mama. Mama. Solnishko, I think Nadia has something to say to you, yes? Listen to her, my love. She's in a good mood. I guess we gotta talk. Speak to Lana. Sveta. I'm here now. What more do you want? Sveta, I have returned to you. I'm trying to build a life with you again. I do not know what else you could want from me. Why is this not enough? D -d damn it, Nadia! You... You don't know a damn thing, do you? She mad. She mad. I can't calm her down. We gotta end the turn. You need to take a deep breath. <sighs> there we go. Talk. I will say more stuff to Lana. Sveta. Do you have anything to say? I'm thinking... I'm thinking that instead of me speaking, it is best you say what it is on your mind. Let's clear the air once and for all. Really? You actually want to hear what I have to say? Of course. Why are you so skeptical? Because you never listened, Nadia. Well, I'm listening now. Ah, oh, my dear children, you're making such progress. I'm so proud of you. If I'm in to intervene, my loves. Sophia drifts over to Lana and pets her hair. Solnishko, you are feeling upset that Nadia has been so absent, hmm? Lana sniffs and leans into her mother's touch. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Nadia, is this not the evidence you need to leave that woman? It will be the head of the family soon. You must make sure everyone is taken care of. Do you not think it's time to settle down with a kind husband? Lana jerks back and shakes her head. Would it not be wonderful? Nadia and her husband could take care of you. I don't want Nadia to make herself unhappy for my sake. Perhaps Mama is right. If this... If this would keep you safe, I would do it. Listen to yourself! What are you saying? This is my duty, yes? Mama's right. I will be the head of the family, and it is my job to make sure you are looked after. Or is there nothing I can do to make you happy? Ugh, not like this! I couldn't be happy if you were miserable. Mama, don't ask Nadia to do that for my sake. It's not fair. Why do you shout? I only wish to help. Heal me up. Got shielded up again. Shield that. Time for Nadia to talk. Whoa, look at all those stars! The lights in the sky are stars. Talk to Quasman. I was fine before you came. You don't have to worry about me so much, Nadia. I mean, I survived for four years without you. Uh, I suppose this is true. You're not needing me. That's not what I meant! D damn it! Can I... Eh, we gotta end the turn. Talk. Uh, to walk? Speak to Cosman. I don't want to keep her, I just want you here. You're so stuck on taking care of me, but... But I don't even want that. Then what do you want? I don't know. You know... You not... Not thousands of miles away, I guess. But... You're my sister, and... There is no mama or papa or pasha to take care of you. It's my duty now. No, it's not! I'm grown up, and I can take care of myself. But... Doesn't mean I don't want you around at all. Solnishko, 
You don't have to act so strong. You're still just a baby. No, I'm not! Oh, you're so stubborn as I was at your age. Why is she so mad? No! No! You calm down, Mamulia! No, I won't be hearing it. What? You don't wanna... We need to shield up! Mama! My tongue, it is tied. I guess we gotta end the turn. Ow! Double owl. No longer jolly. All those stars are gone. Comfort her. No! Let's try the flowers now? Flowers. Oh, god dang it. Talk. Cosman couldn't talk. She doesn't seem too keen on talking to me right now. The feeling's mutual. Shit. What am I supposed to do? She's just gonna hurt me. Oh, she's comforting me. Can I comfort you now? Oh my goodness. Somebody do something. I'm confused as to how to make this progress. Ow! Okay, she's no longer angry. She wasn't hurt. She wasn't hearing it. Talk. Talk to your mama. Oh, come on! Cosmic talk. My tongue is tied. Blah, 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 blah. Damn you both. Say something. It's your mama. Nadia, you need to talk some sense into your little brother. Svetlana is my sister. I only had one brother and he is dead, mama. Fine, fine, your sister. So is that why you feel the need to dress in men's clothes? Do you need to be the brother? How he dress has nothing to do with this. What are you talking about? What? What are you talking about? You have behaved this way ever since my poor Pasha was killed. But you do not need to replace him, alright? What? You do not have to be Pasha to be strong, my love. You can be my lovely Nadia. <sighs> How dare you! How, How dare you! I miss Pasha as much as you, but I would... I would never try to be him. But you took all his old clothes and started running around with women. What else am I supposed to think? Cosmo slams her fist against the wall. Damn it! Mama, you... you... Oh, calm down! Calm down! No, don't comfort. We need to calm her down. <sighs> I do what I want to do. Pasha has nothing to do with this matter at hand. Do not bring him up... Don't bring him up like this. He has everything to do with this. We are speaking of family, and soon the family will just be you and your sister. She is more than just me. What? These friends you mentioned? I thought they were no good. I was... Let Svetlana show you. If you are so insistent, then show me something from these friends of yours. Well, now we get to show her the the items. Gifts. We got three gifts. James didn't give a shit, though. <sighs> Red grain. This is from my friend Grady. He made it himself. It, uh, certainly has character. But he made this? Is he an artist? Grady? No way, he's a bouncer and probably the toughest fella I know. What? And you spent time with someone like this? Uh, he is actually a very sweet young man, despite his attitude. He is very loyal to Svetamama. He is, and he's always had my back, no matter what. He made this crane to ward off bad luck. Hmm, I suppose this is a sweet gesture. Show her... The gloves. 
These are a pair of gloves I got from one of my closest friends, Mortimer. She's... she's a woman like me. I'm not alone, see? Hmm. A woman like you. She's a bit gruff, but she's actually really nice. She looked out for me a lot when Nadia wasn't there. And, eh, she has done a god good job with that. Huh? Right. Remind me to thank Lamont when we return, yes? I, I'm sorry I was not there to do what she did for you. Lana nods quietly. A tiny smile blooms on her lips. Sophia looks on, lost in thought. Show the dampf noodle. Uh, the recipe book is James. Yes. This is a book of recipes from my friend James. We bake together sometimes, just like you and I used to. Remember, Mama? Ah, I could not forget if I tried, and I would never want to. What sorts of things do you bake with this, James? All sorts of treats. He taught me how to make this yummy thing called Dampfnudel, and he also taught me how to make snickerdoodles, and sometimes we even make vatrushka, just like you did, remember? Sophia smiles sadly and strokes Lana's face. Of course I do, my love. And he gives me amazing hugs. Best ones this side of the Atlantic. He gave me a lot of them when no one else would. No one else. Eh, Mr. Crow is a kind man. I've never heard him say a bad word about anyone. I would vouch for his character. Thanks, Nadia. Nadia. Yes, Mama? Am I together that... that you have been neglecting your sister? Yes, I have. But... but Nadia, why? I was a selfish fool. I've done wrong by Sveta, and that I cannot undo. But I... I can at least try to make up for it. This is sound, my love. I'm proud of you. Cosman looks over at Lana. You want to make it up to me, huh? How? By letting you be. I shall respect your wishes and let you alone. It is the least I can do, I suppose. Lana lets out an exasperated sigh. <sighs> That's not what I want! Weren't you listening? But I thought, I don't want to be smothered, but I don't want you to leave me alone again, either. It doesn't have to be one or the other. You can be in my life without trying to be Mama. Uh... Cosmin runs a hand over her cheek and snorts. <laughs> I have been behaving like Mama. Lana gives a teary laugh. Just a little. I just want you to be there as you are, that's all. And I want to at least... I want at least a little space. I suppose this can be arranged. Sophia clears her throat. <clears throat> I'm glad you two are coming to an arrangement, but what do you mean when you say Nadia is trying to be me? Uh, Mama, there's not something we need to tell you. There is a reason we came here today. We have something for you. Give her the flowers. Mamulia! Sophia takes the flowers and stares at them. I guess we got talk now? Talk. We should have shielded. Damn it. Flowers. For me? But. But this bouquet looks like it belongs on a grave. That's the thing. We. We brought them for a grave. The place where you're buried. What? I know it be, may be hard to believe, but you. You've already passed. Have I? Yes, Mama. And I was with you when it happened. Ah uh, looks over at Cosman. We both were right at the end. I do... I do not know what to say. It seems unbelievable, and yet I know it is true. How long has it been since I left you, my darlings? A little over four years. It is 1923 now, eh, in springtime. I... I see. Oh no! Can we still talk to you? Once I'm gone, how are you two going to live? Oh, I cannot bear to think 
of leaving you alone. A mother's love. Comfort her, please. Mama, even when we fight you now, blah, blah, blah. Talk. My darlings, it makes me so happy to see the two of you at peace. I am sad to go. Well, we will miss you, Mama. Yeah, but we still have each other. That is all I ever wanted. I suppose it is time for me to move on. Ha, Mama, before you go, I'm sorry I left you your care to Sveta. I should have taken care of you when you were sick. There's no need to apologize. You were strong for all three of us when we first came to this country. I'm forever grateful to you. Tell Papa I say hello, yes? And pa Pasha? I want them to know I miss them. I'm sure they know, but I will pass on the message anyway. Mama? I love you. I love you too, Solnishko. I always have and I always will. I mean, I mean that for the both of you too. Lana nods, her eyes spilling over with tears. Cosman puts an arm around her sister and pulls her close. Well, I guess it's time for me to go. I will miss you both. I wish you all good things. I, I wish you all the good things life has to offer. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you again someday. Sophia laughs, her voice growing distant. Certainly, but I hope it's not for a very long time. Damn! Mama? She's gone, Nadia. Lana lets out a muffled sob. She's really gone this time, for good. It's Feta. Cosman steps forward and pulls Lana into her arms. Lana leans into the hug and starts to cry even harder. It is alright, Sveta. I have you. I know. A few tears trickle down Cosman's nose. She holds Lana tighter. Yes, I have you. And you will never be without me again unless you wish it. Aww. Sisterly loves. I wonder if Lana's going to make it back in time. Not if that sister of hers has anything to say about it. You know how she is about Lana enjoying herself. Eh, too bad. We'll see her tomorrow, I guess. I guess so, but I really wanted her to try out this these spritz cookies. We're back. Wait, we didn't go to the basement! What the fuck? Hi everyone, sorry I'm late. Ah, oh, Lana, you're here. Now the party can begin. Eh, well, that hardly seems appropriate. Oh, uh, it, Lana, how'd it go? It went great, actually. Real great. You're kidding. You've been crying. Anyone with eyes can see that. So what'd Cosman do this time? No, no, um, it was good crying, I promise. Nadia and me, we, um, we talked some things out. Oh! Well, that's great news. Thanks. And, um... I don't say it enough, but, um, thanks for being my friends. I, um, I lo love all of you a whole lot. Lana starts to tear up again. Um, Lana? Grady reaches out his hand and bumps it up against Lana's. She squeezes it, then reaches out and rubs James's shoulder. Do you, um, do you want to talk about what happened? Yeah, but later. We're throwing a party, right? Nadia? W would you like to join us? Cosman hesitates, then her lips twitch into a tiny smile. She nods. We didn't get to finish the ch What? What? Excuse me? I thought we had to go to the basement. Oh, now I, now I gotta go and see if I can get back into there. I wonder if we can. I'm gonna go and try that out after the credits, but I knew the game was a little short, which is good. It's nice, short, and sweet. It's entertaining. I thought it was okay. I thought it was fine. It's a lot better than a few RPG Maker games I've played. A lot more polished. Interesting concept. 
And, oh yeah, the writing was pretty good. They have so much dialogue in this. Well, I guess that is the end. So some thoughts uh, on the game. I appreciate the fact that they have some custom sprite work here. It looks very good. They have their own music. They have their own uh, artwork, which is very nice to see in an RPG Maker game. I appreciate the fact that they put in the extra effort to make it something different than the standard RPG Maker where everybody's using the you know, the default package sprites and art assets and every time you start a new game it kind of starts blending into each other, like ORPG and Undefeated started kind of blending in with each other. The only thing that makes these games stand out is the writing and the story, and this game has tons of it. So that is one of the perks to this game. One of the things that kind of... I didn't really mesh with was the length of the battles themselves. I like the idea of the dialogue in battles uh, trying to solve it. It's very Undertale-ish in that Undertale, you're well, if you're doing a pacifist run, you're trying to not kill anything. And so this one is more of along the same lines of you're not trying to kill a ghost, you're just trying to convince them to get the hell out of here. <laughs> But uh, other than that, I, I thought it's good for what it was. It's short and sweet, and I had fun playing it, and I hope you had fun watching it. So, thank you all for joining me. And I'll see you all in the next game.